All right, everyone, so I'm back with another QMX and a FT8 video. So I just came, became aware of a new app, which is FT8TW. It's on Android, and I have it set up on an old uh, Samsung uh, Galaxy 10. Um, just to recap, some of you have seen my other video on the, the QMX. Uh, you just have to make sure that this is in, your Vox is turned on. So I just want to touch here, and then we'll scroll through the menus here, and the Vox is on. So that's all you need to do in terms of uh, getting this ready for FT8. So we'll be on 15 meters, and we'll just go through the settings here. So basically, I already have this in. I have my uh, call sign. I guess the CQ modifier here is listed as target as my DM, my grid square, which is DM 13 IG. Um, you want to hit sync to sync it with the QMX. There it goes. So now it's synced. And then what's awesome about this app is that you can come in here and choose any um, different radio that's listed in here that might work for you with an, an older radio or one of the radios that you might have has all the icons there's a lot of lists in here so if i go down through it uh it's got the the b the, the bg2 fx fx 4cr it's got the l crafts um then we have the icons and then scroll down here kenwoods we have the mchf qrp rig which is sdr i have that so i'm gonna try that with this as well and then we have the QRP Labs uh, QMX, and then you can just keep going down here, and it just goes through all these other, the the Shigu and Yesu um, radios, which is pretty cool. So go back to here and just choose a QMX, um, and it automatically sets it up. So you already it already knows that it needs control Vox. Um, I'm not sure what the CIV is, but then you have your baud rate. I'm on the frequency. If you click in here, you can select all your different frequencies in here, which is really nice. Um, great menu system in here. Um, message, a standard message, and then um, add follow. I'm not, I have to go in and, and go, what's this that actually says? Manually add a follow call sign. You can pre enter the call sign you want to track. Oh, it's a track to a certain call sign. Okay. And then I didn't change any of these other things, I just kind of left it as default. And then what's really nice about this is that you can, it'll auto upload all your contacts to QRZ. And then um, for this right here, you can put in your, I put in off center, that's just something you put in here. I put off center fed um, dipole, that's what I have at my QTH. Um, and then that's it. And so basically what we're gonna do is go back to the spectrum here and you can see that we have this going right here. And then what I want to do is grab something else real quick. So what I'll do is I'll just hold this sideways underneath here. Okay, so what we do is you just turn it, just turn it sideways like this. And then I'll call CQ. And then you have this button up here that is the microphone. And now it's ready to call CQ. And I just hit call CQ. I want to make sure that this is. There it goes. So you see the blanky the blanking microphone up in the, the right hand corner there. I'm calling CQ. And then we'll see what happens here. And one thing I want to note on here that I didn't have correctly set is the volume on your tablet or your phone has to be all the way at max. I didn't have it all the way at max and I couldn't get the transmit to actually go out. So definitely make sure that that is all the way turned up. Um, let's see what we got here. So you can see it's uh, somebody with a Whiskey 7 Whiskey Hotel Oscar is calling me. Now, 
Now I really like this interface because you can actually um, have your phone at a you know on its side and you can get not only you can get the spectrum but you can also get the call signs that are um, coming in or that are calling CQ. So it's very cool. I really like the way that this is this is set up. Um, it's definitely a mass improvement over um, the the Apple version, which is the um, not the version of this, but it's an IFTX, which is a great app too. I just think this app has a, a lot more features in it that are really nice because it has a spectrum and then the the calling CQ in, in one window, you know, with all the call signs and then your spectrum here. And then you can see all the call signs coming down here. The ones calling CQ are in uh, yellow coming down the spectrum window. So right now we're on the, the Roger report um, with uh, Whiskey 7, Whiskey Hotel, Oscar. There we go. So now that's a cumed uh, QSO um, on FT8 using the QMX, which is really nice. So if we go here, go to log QSOs, and it's logged up here. Now these are the QSOs that I've made today, um, just testing this out. Um, right here I have, this is an island station, that's a 2 India 0 Papa Bravo mic. And then I have a Cuba station in here as well, which is a Charlie Oscar 8 Lima Yankee. Let me go back to the spectrum window here. And call in CQ. Let's see what else I can get here real quick. Um, again, this is just a uh, USB-C to USB-C into the phone. It seems to work very well. Um, the other thing too is I, I like this because I just had an old Android phone sitting around that I can use for this now when I go on summits. So I'm just going to bring I like bringing FT8 up on summits in case propagation on the day that I plan on going on summits not great and I can get extra contacts doing um, you know some digital modes why eat lunch and the other thing I like about this uh, this app as well is that it actually it just keeps calling CQ and will go through and it continues to go I know with ITFX I was having an issue where I always had to hit call CQ but this just you know, once you call CQ, it just keeps going over and over. So yeah, that we have a, a Whiskey 7 station, which is a, a Golf 7, a Lima Mike, Juliet. Uh, we're just going through the Roger report here. Which is, it's pretty cool. So I'm pretty impressed with this new app. It works very well. Um, but yeah, the one thing you just have to remember is to make sure that you have your volume turned up all the way on your tablet or your phone. Let's just hang out here, and I want to show you one more thing after this uh, go th goes through here. And we got the Roger report. That's a 73, and then we should get a QSO uh, confirmation. And I want to show you how to do the, the QSO logs. Yep, there we go. Oh, I have another one coming in. So let's go ahead, and I'll just go to the... QSO logs where this is going. So we have those two stations right now. And this is still calling CQ. Um, what I can do is just go to settings and you scroll down here and you go to QRZ and you hit upload. And it'll load them all up again. Now some of these have failed because I've already um, did an upload today. There it goes. I had some 10 meter uh, uh, contacts I was going through and it sexually resulted, so that's cool. So it's all done. That's what I really like about this, um, that you can upload this straight to uh, your QRZ page. Um, let's go back to calling. All right, I just wanted to show you all that. I thought it was a, you know, an addition to, um, you know, the, the FT8 for the QMX. I mean, the QMX is just a great rig because it has three modes now, right? You have your digi mode, which is digital, and it has your CW mode, and then you have SSB now. So for the price of that 
rig and what it can do. It's a it's a great option for anybody that is looking for a you know a very very affordable radio that will do a lot. So, all right, everybody. So yeah, I appreciate you watching this one. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you get this app and and maybe enjoy some FT8 on your uh, your POTA uh, activations or soda or any other portable operations that you plan on doing. So yeah, all right, appreciate it. All right, till next time.